good evening. Just today, when uh, digging with this uh, Kelfry ATV backhoe, it suddenly stopped. It uh, didn't sound like it ran out of fuel, but uh, I wasn't able to restart it and I didn't have time to do any fault searching. So I'm gonna do that today and hopefully I will find some simple fault with it and um, we'll uh, see how I do this step by step. I actually checked yesterday to see <coughs> if there's fuel but um, since I said I was going to do this step by step I will be checking it again and uh, there's a lot of fuel in here and there's no blockage what I can see not any dirt either so, um, next step <coughs> remove the spark plug Well, the spark plug is very wet, so uh, I don't think I have a fuel problem. Could be something with the ignition or uh, could be compression related. So first I will check the ignition to see that I have spark. Yeah, we got spark. It's, it's uh, very white. But I don't think that's the problem. Okay, we got spark, we got fuel, uh, we need compression to make an engine work. So I don't know what compression we should have on this one, but by just blocking the spark plug hole with the finger and pulling, I can feel that there's no compression whatsoever. So I will have to check what's up with that and uh, step number one will be removing the valve cover to see that uh, the valves are moving as they should and that the push rods are fine hopefully we have a problem here because we if we don't have a problem here we have a bigger problem and I don't really want that That's where to do it. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> it's not supposed to be like that. So, what has happened here? That one's fine. Okay. Is the push rod? Push rod is actually working. But Uh, I can see now. I think the valve is stuck. You can see it's much further inside than the other one. I'm gonna show you. Can you see? This one is much more uh, in there than that one. It's difficult to see with the camera, but it's really easy to see with your eyes. Okay, <clears throat> this is the exhaust valve. See the exhaust goes up here to, to the muffler. And this is the intake valve. And well, it moves, but... Something seems to be wrong with it. Could be the valve seat that has come loose. 
unfortunately. I can't tell without uh, removing the head on the engine. Okay, that wasn't very good news. I can uh, feel that something has happened with the intake valve. And uh, I'll have to remove the cylinder head to see what's wrong with it. Um, but I need some more tools for that.